हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस स्टडी अबाउट द सेगमेंटल स्टैटिक रिफ्लेक्स सेगमेंटल स्टैटिक रिफ्लेक्स व्हाट इज दिस सेगमेंटल स्टैटिक रिफ्लेक्स if you remember what we had talked about is that crossed extensor reflex do you remember the crossed extensor reflex there is a sharp object there right uh, let's take of yes, the sir. foot as if we have a person's leg here so once there is a cut what would happen ma'am then uh, through the uh, nociceptors there will be uh, nociceptors pain in... fibers they are being taking then they are going via the That's, anterior lateral pathway and that uh, they are going to the upper center how about the spinal cord what they will do ma'am uh, in uh, in uh, effect mm. in case of uh, in case of uh, uh, response to that stimulus yes if you have got a cut in one of the limb you will not keep your limb on that yes. only it's not that you have sensed it you are happy with that right yes, definitely you are very sad and you are crying Ma'am, then there will be the collaterals of this uh, afferent fiber. Will uh, some will go to the ex, uh, extensor, and other uh, one uh, in activates the. Now you uh, will one, tell me one uh, by one. This is one pathway. This is another pathway. Okay, this is for yeah. the limb of this person. These are two group of muscle of this limb. right then there is another yes. limb there is another group of muscle for that limb i'm just taking a schematic diagram of that so one is flexor other is suppose if this is the flexor this is the extensor right and uh, we have flexor extensor also from here so what do you think yes, the muscles have to go for ma'am of the same limb there should be a flex uh, uh, from the flexion, same limb what do you uh, want from the same limb there should be flexion that is uh, activate in activation you want this pathway to be activated uh, yes ma'am flexor should okay, be uh, contracted and extensor and then should be relaxed. how about this the extensors uh, extensor should be uh, relaxed means negative uh, high there has to be, be there. inhibited okay inhibited. that's on the same side yes and for the opposite, opposite side, side of the limb the, there should be opposite or uh, vice versa case of this that should be vice extended. versa case means what man so, uh, this is the flexor you want the flexor and here to is the to be inhibited to be inhibited so for inhibition what inhibited. do i need the in inhibitory interneuron uh, yes i need inhibitory interneuron so there has to be an inhibitory interneuron or internuncial cell we call it right so see here as you were telling there has to be for the opposite limb the flexor has to be inhibited and we do it by the help of the interneuron inhibitory interneuron which is going to inhibit my flexor but there has to be yeah. extension of my extensor uh, ex there has uh, to be extensor. stimulatory effect to the extensors of extensors. my yes so ultimately what will be my net reflect that when i get a pain will, stimulus in that limb the limb goes for withdrawal withdrawal yes, or uh, flexion and what about flexion. the now your center of gravity has moved away right and to now the, uh, the whole body limb. weight is being bared by the opposite limb opposite limb had there not been such type of arrangement what would have been the situation ma'am uh, if there has not been such arrangement the person if uh, uh, due to withdrawal reflex if it flex the uh, affected limb then it would have been fallen down yes the, the person would have, would have fallen. fallen down that's what it happens right good so for a segmental see it's characterized by bilateral reflex response so what we have seen is that this segmental static reflex is not involving an unilateral for in uh, for stretch reflex what it was it was a unilateral reflex right on the same yes, side there was a same muscle were you know a same side of the muscle getting stretched and same muscle getting contraction right and we did had the inverse stretch reflex that for different part but for a crossed stretch uh, extensor reflex what is happening is it is characterized by a bilateral reflex response where the stimulus is applied to one limb 
It's not that both the limb are stimulated. Had that happened, you would have definitely fallen. Examples are the crossed extensor reflex in response, which is actually a component of withdrawal reflex where there is a pain stimulus involved. What is the role of these crossed extensor reflex in control of posture? They definitely play a very important role because had they not been there, the person wouldn't have made his erect posture, he would have fallen down. In the lower limb, this reflex allows one limb to support the body while the other to be raised off the ground. It is also important when we are walking. So we not only have yes. this response when we are uh, having a painful stimulus to one of the limb. This is also important for walking. Had this segmental static reflex not been present, walking wouldn't have been possible. So what is walking? Walking in what situation? What is the pattern of walking? One of the limb flexes, the other limb and another contract. Then the muscle, uh, the limb which has extended will flex, and the limb which has flexed will extend. It will go in a reciprocal way, right? Hence, that is how we are able to walk. Now, what is the center for a segmental static reflex? Center is your spinal cord.